to ask you a question. When do we stop being dangerous? When did it happen? Do you think because you stand there and say, I do karate, I do taekwondo, I do kung fu, at any particular point, that any aggressor is going to step back from you? Not really. Won't bother them that much. If you turn around and you say to them, go ahead then, I do MMA, then they might pause. Why is that? MMA as a system is limited. They wear the gloves and the hand wraps. But as a martial art, you should be teaching in an unlimited section. Headbutts, gouging, grabbing the throat. Your students need to be protecting themselves in ways that are actually relevant, not, okay, you grab the lapel and the other person is throwing little punches like this and then you do this and you do this, because that's not how it happens. Human beings, particularly men in particular, drag you through space to show their dominance on you, to keep you off-footed, like this. A hockey punch in the crap out of you. That is how you need to be teaching your techniques. This is how you need to be making certain that your students who are being awarded high grades feel safe. They can protect themselves and their loved ones. The double psychological blow that comes from the fact that A, you lose in a street fight. Some fat PS4 playing, pizza eating, socks and sandals, twat, gives you a kicking at a cash machine because you, he thinks you jumped line or he wanted to jump line. And you're laid on the floor in a fetal position while he stamps about on you, right? That is. That has a serious psychological blow to you as a person, male or female, right? But if you've invested hundreds and hundreds of pounds into learning a martial art, and that's the key phrase we need to look at here, a martial art, a warlike art, how would you feel at the end of it? Who do you blame? Me? I blame my coach. I'm not talking about getting sucker punched. Anyone can get sucker punched and take a knee and go down. That happens, right? But if you've squared up on somebody and they just whip their at you like this, and then they catch you and you go down because all you know what to do is backpedal and go <laughs> like this, as opposed to covering up and then coming in straight for the eyes or hitting for the throat, right? Do you understand this is really important for us? If we want to still be considered a relevant art, a relevant art, we need to make certain that we pull this stuff back into what we're doing and we teach it. It's difficult with children, this I agree, okay? But we need to pull this back into our system. So if you are doing a sports stuff, which is fine, do, do, do whatever you want to do from that, you must be getting this stuff done because at the end of it, it's about a go-to technique when you're under threat. Rant over. Yeah, for once, for a little bit, okay? Us. Okay.